Mac kids are on here today. This is a um Xcode lesson one. We are going to show you how to lay out your interface. Um, so let's get started. So first project we're going to be making with Xcode lesson um one is Hello World. Except I don't like the he name Hello World, so we're gonna call it Hello Taco. So you want to go first of all. I uh, just jumped too many steps ahead. Under Mac OS X application Coco application, then choose that. And this is the latest version of Xcode. And then I'm going to call it Hello Taco. And now let's click Save. So now it's created a folder on my desktop called Hello Taco. And you'll notice we have a few files here. And main menu.xib happens to be one of them. We can just double click that and it will open up our interface. Um, so right here we have this little menu bar, the dock window, our main window and I happen to have this um, the library now the library will probably not be there on default so you can go up to tools library to show it in tools attributes inspector we also want to do that to show the properties for everything So first of all let's edit our main menu bar it should be right here if it's not just double click in the file menu main menu and you can just double click on this to rename it and I'm calling it hello taco okay so that's pretty cool now, right now, first of all, we have a few things about new application preferences. So we're not going to call about new application. Let's call it Hello Taco. Um, right here, hide. Let's just make this say hide. And let's just make quit say quit. So, okay. So that's good. So now these menus also have to be here because if you delete them, it messes up everything in Interface Builder. Okay. So you also want to fix this and make it um hello taco hell. So that just personalizes it a little bit. So here's our window. You can see in the attributes inspector. If you don't get that by the way, just click window in the files. You can set the title of our window. I'm gonna call it Hello Taco. And um, I'm gonna make it so you can't resize it or minimize it. And I'm gonna check off textured just to make it have this nice gray textured feeling okay and visible at launch is good hide on deactivate that's bad so these are just a few properties you can go up to the ruler tool and move it to the middle of the screen so that it opens up in the middle of the screen when you open it and um yeah so that's how to set that up so now we want to go into the library under library open up coco and here are going to be all the controls and stuff that you can drag on. And this is a very simple interface. First of all, we want to drag on a label. And make this label, let's just hope that's close enough to the center. Say name. And then under here, I'm going to drag a text field on. Okay, cool. So now I'm just going to make this a little less tall. And now let's put a button and the label here. So first of all, let's shrink this down, move this over, put the name here, thing that says name there. Okay, so here's how to lay out the interface for our Hello World. So now, let's drag on just a textured round button, but um, you can also do this kind of button, this push button, they're the same class, so they're the same thing. I have to make this a little wider. Okay, so now, wow. We can double click that to set the text. I'm going to make this say go. And then right down here, I'm going to drag on two labels this one and this one. And I'll put these right next to each other. This one will say hello. This one, have your name okay so let's just give you an idea of what this application is going to do this application very simple first of all you type your name in this box click the go button and then it'll say hello and then your name will go right there remember these are two separate labels so that's our interface now we can also click these labels I'll select everything we can go up to the ruler and set them to be in the middle and in the middle there. So now they're perfectly centered. 
So, um, yeah, this is turning out to be pretty cool. You can also make that a little longer, just in case. Okay, so let's get us all centered again. Okay, so pretty cool. So now that um, we have the set, I'll just make the same name. And um, okay, so that's our interface. Um, so we just go to File, Save, and Interface Builder, and we're done with building our interface. This was um, Xcode Lesson 1. Actually, most of it was an interface builder, but um, or all of it was really an interface builder. But um, so watch Xcode Lesson 2, and um, you'll see how to tie the code in to make all this work.